Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. The setup is completely new today, but I think it's just going to be for this video unless you guys like the setup. But today I'm going to be showing you guys my Blu-rays and my DVD collection. So I never really do videos here, but today I wanted to kind of get my DVDs in the background because I am going to show them all to you guys. I don't have that many, but I still think I have a lot and I've been collecting movies ever since I was little. And most of the movies that I have, I would probably say a majority of them, yeah, a good majority of the movies are like family friendly movies, like movies that I would watch as a kid. And it's not like until now that I've started collecting other movies, like horror movies. And I only honestly have like one horror movie in my collection. But I also thought that this would be a great start to a series. I'm doing that as I collect DVDs and Blu rays. I'll make videos, like monthly videos, if I do get enough. Like for this month, if I get any more DVDs, I'll make a video on that. And I also want to say that I'm starting to make videos what I watched in blank month, like at the end of November. I'm gonna do a what I watched in November because now that I got letterbox It's a really easy way to track what I watch and I just think it'll be a fun video to do And then if I do get any DVDs or Funkos, I'll include it in those videos. I feel like I just rambled for so long I think Yeah like this. I'm very excited to show you guys my movies. There's a mix of DVD and Blu-ray, but a lot of them are Blu-rays, but I just thought I would connect them together and you guys are just gonna see me empty out this bookshelf and here's my good old Xbox. I love my Xbox. Sorry, that was so random. But let's get started talking about movies. This video might be very long, so get a snack, relax, and let's just talk about some movies. All right, so let's start. I'm gonna just start with this one because it's the first one there. Harry Potter. Why did I try to do a British accent? I don't know how to do a British accent. I have the entire eight film collection right here and this actually came broken. I got this for Christmas, but it came broken, but whatever. They're just cool DVDs. You see, like it came, yeah. Okay, I was gonna try to show them to you guys, but it, it literally came broken and I love Harry Potter I have an entire video about my Harry Potter collection if you guys want to see that I like Harry Potter is my life And if anybody was wondering I say it in that video my Harry Potter movies ranked and stuff But my favorite movie is Prisoner of Azkaban one of my favorite movies just ever and a great Harry Potter book and movie I have the Shining and this one is actually in 4k and it's like a steel book and it's really pretty like I think steel books are gorgeous and then when you open it if you take out the blu-ray it's Wendy and it's very pretty I really like this it's very good quality and I love The Shining it's one of my favorite movies as well so I have Journey to the Center of the Earth on DVD and I grew up on this movie. I love this movie so much and it's just awesome. Like I actually haven't seen this movie in quite some time so I feel like I honestly might rewatch it today maybe. I also am doing this because like yeah I have these movies here but I don't even realize the movies that I have. Okay this is Jurassic World and I actually didn't even know I had this. I feel like probably one of my parents got it and I just put it here because I put all of the movies we have here and yeah but we have Jurassic World. This movie's pretty good. It's entertaining. I mean it doesn't compare to the original. I still love the original more but like this one's pretty good. The sequel however doesn't cut it for me. It is just not the one. Let's see. I actually have not seen this movie and it's in my DVDs. It's a Harrison Ford movie and it's called Firewall. And this is another one of those movies that like my parents have and I just kind of stole. But if anybody thinks I should watch this movie, let me know. Like I don't even know if it's a good movie. Oh, sorry. DVD. But yeah, I don't know if it's a good movie, but I think I'll watch it since I do have it, you know, on DVD. I think I'll do that. Oh my God, this is one of my favorite Disney movies ever and I feel like it's not talked about enough it is a Christmas Carol I was obsessed with this movie when it came out and that's why I had to buy it and this is on blu-ray and it has a bunch of discs it has like the 3d one as well but I feel like 3d kind of died down like nobody watches 3d movies at home anymore that I know of but this movie is freaking awesome and I feel like I will review it this year because we're near December I cannot get enough of this movie it's just fantastic I'm gonna just do these that are here and this is my queen vinyl i love queen very much and behind me is my oh is my record player i love it so much but anyway we have the hunger games 4 film collection i love the hunger games like 
a lot. I grew up on the books, grew up on the movies, and they're amazing. And I'm going to just show you guys because this is like my favorite probably discs that I own. Look at that. It's freaking awesome. It's freaking bats. I just love the Hunger Games. I have to rank them and do videos on them at one point because these these are such good movies and such great books too. Like I absolutely love the books. We have oops, I everything just fell. I have Indiana Jones and I actually got this for Christmas last year and beautiful. I love Indiana Jones, another one of my favorite movies and another one of my favorite like DVDs that I have even though I think these are Blu-rays, are they? I don't know if they're Blu-rays or not, but it's very pretty. Like, look at that. I love when, like, you get collections like this and they're very pretty. Like, come on. This is just beautiful. Again, some other movies that I just really need to talk about because they're just beautiful. I absolutely adore Indiana Jones and, like, Raiders of the Lost Ark is one of my favorite movies ever. And it's awesome. I got Back to the Future. I got this for my birthday this year in July. And I love Back to the Future so much. This one is kind of similar to the Indiana Jones one. Yeah, it's pretty similar to that one. Just has some pictures. And it's very cool. I like this spread here. But yeah, I love Back to the Future as well. And I'm going to try to make it a goal next year to try to talk about a lot of the movies that I own that I really like because why not? Why not? So I have Bohemian Rhapsody on Blu-ray and I adored this movie when it came out. I love Queen. I mean, here's my Freddie Funko Pop. I love him. And like, I just absolutely adore this movie. I have a blast every single time I watch it and it was beautiful. So of course I had to buy it. So I'm going to deal with this next let's go and i feel like all of these are just like family friendly movies so yeah let's just talk about them binding nemo uh, yes my family says that when i was little i watched this like on loop like it would end and i would put it back on on tv and honestly yeah why not i love finding nemo it's always been one of my favorite pixar movies and i have like such a connection to it because ever since i was really little i've just adored this movie and yeah Obviously, that's why I have it. Let's talk about Tangled. This is such a great movie. Like, wow, do I love this movie. There's, like, no words to describe how much I love this movie. It's just everything about this movie is fantastic. One of my favorite animated movies ever made. And, come on, it's just, it's just awesome. Like, so amazing. The Muppets movie. I, oh my gosh, I love this one as well. This one's just awesome. Like, I think this is a phenomenal movie and it's just so funny and so awesome. And a fun story about this, I actually went to an advanced screening for this one, even though I was very little. And I didn't really realize it until I got older, but we basically won the tickets, like, by this contest, basically like a Disney contest I entered in. And we saw the movie, like, way earlier than it came out. And I remember seeing a bunch of people there, like, with name tags and stuff and then I find out they were critics and I was like cool and yeah just a really great movie I really like this if you haven't seen any of these movies go ahead and watch them I really recommend watching them okay I got the odd life of Timothy Green I actually have not seen this movie in a while either but this movie is just really sweet and also very sad it's probably why I haven't seen it in so long and the acting is great and it's just really awesome movie like I just I dig this movie so much. Okay, we got Mulan 1 and Mulan 2 combined. So I love Mulan and I actually have to say, I haven't seen Mulan 2 fully. I've seen it like in parts and I really need to get to that because my sister says it's not the worst. Like she said it's pretty good. But the original Mulan is like my favorite movie ever. It's so good. One of my favorite princesses, if not my favorite Disney princess movie because she's so awesome and she kicks ass and she's always been such a huge inspiration to me. So yeah, here's Mulan. I forgot I had this movie. It still even has like the tag. Ugly. But mirror, mirror, and look at that. I used to be obsessed with this cover. Like seeing it switch from Lily Collins to Julia Roberts. But yeah, this movie is freaking awesome. Like, I don't know if people talk about it a lot, but like, I'm gonna talk about it because I think it's a really awesome movie. And when did this even come out? I don't know when this movie came out. Editing Jennifer figured it out, but it's been a while since I've seen this. But 
just great. Like, I've just always loved that movie. And I'm pretty sure Army Hammer's in it. Like, yeah, he's like the prince. Yeah, that's a really good one. We got Madagascar 2, Escape to Africa. I grew up on these movies, like, so much. I need to do a bunch of DreamWorks video at what point. But this movie is just so funny to me. And I... I just love it like it says right here it's time for a good time like yeah that's exactly what this movie does and it's so great this video is already so long and we have so much left but we're going through we're doing it let's go I also have the original Madagascar because I love it so much I mean I love it very much I actually forgot that I have like a movie here and I'll show you. I actually have two things here to show you guys. So this is not a movie, but it's The Stranger Things season one. And my cousin got this for me like during Black Friday once. It was really cheap and it's very cool. I'll show it to you guys. It basically looks like a VHS and I grew up on VHS. Like a bunch of the movies that I used to watch when I was really little were on VHS. So I think it's very cool. You open it and it's just like very cool. And it has some like posters and stuff there. That I've never actually put up, so maybe I should do that. But I just wanted to show you guys that. And season one Stranger Things is like awesome. I really have been wanting to rewatch it. And I also have Star Wars, but this is the original trilogy, which is A New Hope, Empire, and Return of the Jedi. And very soon I will be reviewing those movies because, um, like a while ago on my channel when I started, like a very long time ago, I started reviewing the Skywalker Saga movies like in depth, and I only really got to all the way to um, Revenge of the Sith, like I was doing Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith. Those video videos are very cringy, like I, they're still up, you guys can watch them. But I'm just telling you they're very cringy, but I will be continuing that because I love Star Wars and I haven't even gone into like my favorites yet. And I just think I'm gonna continue reviewing them, so that'll be very soon, I promise. I wanna make those reviews really good. And if you guys watch them, I kind of talked about like some facts about the movie and some stuff that was going on back then. Like I did some research, so I need to like really do that before I start, but it'll be coming soon because I love Star Wars and I'm really happy I didn't like review Empire back then when I didn't know how to do this that I'm doing right now. So yeah, anyway, let's continue. The Lion King. Why did I whisper? Gosh, I love this movie so much. Like, this is probably one of my favorite Disney movies as well. It's awesome. This is the Diamond Edition. It includes the Blu-ray and the DVD. I mean, an awesome movie and just amazing. The Little Mermaid. I really love this one as well. Just grew up on this. Like, you can tell how old it is because look at that. You can't even see it. Look at that. Little Jennifer probably went crazy watching this and I did because I've always been obsessed with this movie and it's funny because I rewatched it the other day Oops, I moved the camera. I rewatched it the other day and like I didn't realize how much Ariel doesn't talk in that movie Like I've always known that but it's just funny like when I because I have completely forgotten that she literally is mute For like the whole movie, but it still works and I'm very excited to see what the Disney live-action is gonna do with it I I'm just so hyped because I wonder how they're gonna do like the, um, I can't get these movies. I wonder how they're gonna do the underwater. Okay, so, Lady and the Tramp, a classic, a beautiful classic. I love it so much and just amazing. I also wanna say that the remake that they did on Disney Plus is also very cute. I really enjoyed that one as well. We got, Wow, you can still tell, like, the price ticket is still on it, but this is Ice Age Continental, what's it called? Hello, so this is me editing right now, and I never said the full name of the movie because I couldn't read it because the price tag was on it, but it's Ice Age Continental Drift. I don't know why I didn't say the full name, but I'm saying it now. I haven't seen this one in forever, too. It's been so long since I've seen this, but... I've always liked this movie too. The Good Dinosaur. My sister was so obsessed with this movie when it came out and like, I mean, for good reason. I think it's a very cute movie to be honest. Like, I really enjoy this one and I think it's kind of underrated. Like, I don't know if people like this one or not, but I thought it was very cute and yeah, that's just it. Sorry, <laughs> this movie is so good. Epic. This video is just me like being excited about the movies that I own, but you know, 
that's me. I, oh gosh, this movie is so freaking good. This is also one of the best animated movies I've ever seen, and this is actually underrated. Like, this is a very underrated film. Everybody should go watch it right this second. Like, after this video, click and search where to watch Epic and watch it because you will not regret your time. Ooh, this is another one that I think is very underrated. Or maybe, is it even underrated? I think this one is. The Road to El Dorado. I grew up on this. I think it's so fantastic. And it's just like such a fun movie and like such a fun adventure film. DreamWorks is really good. Like, hell yeah, DreamWorks. Keep doing your thing. Oh my god, I didn't realize I have Despicable Me. One and two. I really actually like the first one. Like, I won't, I won't lie. Like, I think that movie's pretty good. I don't remember the second one. Why don't I remember? Oh, wait. I feel like that one's pretty good, too. I don't know. I just haven't seen these ones in forever. But, like, you know those movies that you just remember having a good time watching? Like, that's me with them. Okay, I'm just gonna, like, pull these. I have such a mess, like, I'm looking at the pile of movies next to me because they're so organized here, but... So this is The Croods, and I am very confused why it's so skinny, but... I mean... Yeah. And I cannot believe they're making a sequel. I did not see that coming. Hopefully it's good, but the first Croods was very fun. Like, I really like that movie. We got Cinderella 3. It's been, like, years since I've seen this movie. Like, I was probably really tiny when I last saw this because I don't remember much. Except, like, some plot points, but, like... Wow, it's been so long since I've seen this, but pretty good one as well. So then I have Brave, and I really like Brave. I think it's an awesome movie. I need to rewatch this one, but I remember just, like, really liking this movie, and I think Merit is pretty freaking awesome. We have Beauty and the Beast, a classic. This one is just an awesome movie. I really, really like this one, and I remember, like, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. This has, like, um, you know, like, DVDs, they have, like, extra stuff. This has a music video by Jordan, Jordan Sparks, and I remember watching it all the time, like, on loop, and yeah, it's just really funny, but this is a very good movie, and, like, a classic. It's awesome. So then I have, I completely forgot I owned this movie, but I have Annie, and like, this one doesn't have good Rotten Tomatoes, like, this movie people think is, like, not that good, but I honestly think it's pretty good, like, I mean, it's not, like, anything out there or anything like, holy shit, this is so good. I've always had a good time with it, and I think that's honestly what matters. And then I have, which this is a movie I haven't seen in, like, years, like, like, I can't even tell you what happens in this movie, to be honest. 101 Dalmatians. I really need to rewatch it. Very cute, and I, I just think the dogs are very cute. So let me see if the camera wants to focus. Look at the dogs. They're just so cute. Anyway, now we're getting on to the last pile. And to the those that are still here with me, thank you so much. And comment down below what's your favorite movie that you own. I think that would be very cool. Okay. Ready guys, let's go. So here I have Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Again, another movie It's I have not seen in a very long time, but I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion. I've never been a huge fan of this movie. Like when I was really little, I did. I really liked this movie, but growing up, I just have had no interest in rewatching it, but maybe I should like to see if I like it, but I just like, it's not my thing for some weird reason. The Smurfs. Now this movie is not the best movie of all time. It has many flaws, but I'm gonna just say a quick story time. So the first movie that I saw at the movie theater was actually The Smurfs. I was nine years old, and we had never been to the movies ever. And like, I wasn't born here in the United States. I was born in Cuba. So we didn't really have movie theaters over there. Like, it's just... Like, I just didn't even know what a movie theater was, to be honest, until I came to this country. So, yeah. And I remember, like, thinking it was so cool, like, the whole concept of movie theaters, and I was just amazed. Like, I did not care what movie I was watching. I was just so happy. And I always have, like, this movie as a special place in my heart because I remember that it's the first one that I saw at the movie theater. Yeah, it has its little kid flaws, but you know what? I don't care. I saw it when I was nine years old at the movie theater in, like, this big screen, and I was just, like, so invested in it. And I freaking loved it. Anyway. Ooh. Wait a minute. I don't have the original one. What? So, I have Shrek Forever After the final chapter. And I have Shrek the third. But I do not see the second or the first one. Hello. I need to get those. I love Shrek. Shrek is like my favorite movie ever. And Shrek is one of my favorite movie characters ever. I have a Shrek toy right over there. You can't see it. But I'll make sure to get a clip of Shrek because... I freaking love Shrek and I cannot believe I don't have the first and the second. Or what the heck? I like I swear I did, but 
I mean, I guess I don't. I have Tinkerbell's Secret of the Wings. Again, a really awesome movie. I just think this movie's freaking fun. Oh, I love this one. This one is Enchanted. This is a great one. I actually saw this one recently and I want to review it because I wrote a lot about this movie and I am probably going to be reviewing it very soon. Enchanted is, is just fantastic. Santa Paws 2 and Santa Paws 1. <laughs> So, it's just like sometimes I rewatch these movies and I realize that they're like not the best movies ever, but they're so cute. Like the puppies are so cute. Look at the look at the puppy. It's a very cute puppy. And I have Rise of the Guardians, another movie that's so awesome. I used to have the biggest crush on Jack Frost, and I I will admit, I still do. I think he's so adorable. Oh my god, all the movies are gonna fall like on this side. So. This isn't a movie, like all of these aren't movies, but this is, so like I had a huge obsession with Pretty Little Liars and I have all of the Blu-rays, well not Blu-rays, DVDs. They were really cheap, like I got all of these for like $5 and yeah, I know you can find this on a streaming service, but like so can you find all of these movies. I just, I, I don't know, I like collecting them. I'm, I'm very happy I was able to get all of them. I think I got all the seasons and I love my like physical, I love my physical copies. And we're down to the last four movies, so let's go. I have Pocahontas, an amazing movie. I really like this one. It's been a while since I've seen it again, but I just, I've always had a blast watching it. I have Hyra Fairy. I don't remember much about this movie, but I think I got this like because my sister really liked it. I don't know. I actually like, don't remember anything about this movie, but I always liked the Tinkerbell ones. I think they were very fun. I have Pinocchio and this is one of my favorite Disney movies too. I love Pinocchio and we used to always play it around the house because my dad really liked Pinocchio and this is just it. Like I think Disney did a really good job with Pinocchio and I love it with all my heart. And the last movie that I have to show you guys is Oz the Great and Powerful. A movie that I- ooh, that's very cool. Nice. A movie that I was way too obsessed with when it came out and I was like, it was like the only thing I would watch. I think it's so cool and I, I just really like this movie. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Now my shelf is empty and I hope you guys really enjoyed my collection video. I like doing these and I just thought it was finally time to show you guys my movie collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can see, I have a bunch of just family movies and I'm, I'm now starting to get like some other movies. So when I do get a lot more movies, I'll make sure to make another update video and I'm very excited for more videos that I have to make. I hope you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I have a very special video for 200 subscribers. This was honestly one of them because I thought, hmm, what can I do? And then I thought I would do this, but I also have something coming next week that I think you guys might really enjoy. And as as always if you guys have any video requests like any movie you want me to review or just a video idea like a ranking or something then please go ahead and let me know down below because I would love to just do what you guys want me to do and I hope you guys stay safe and I hope you guys are doing okay and I know this week has been very crazy and anxiety inducing like I know but um we're all gonna be okay everything's gonna be fine I hope this video at least helps somebody I know they help me a lot when I watch a lot of people just show their movies and I think it's just an awesome way to get to know somebody a little bit better but yeah thank you guys again for watching I'll make sure to see you guys on Monday have a really nice weekend or weekday depending on when you're watching this and I'll see you guys next time bye guys